Hey guys, I want to do a nice bright summery spring look, um, spring summer look, I guess depending on the side of the world you're on. Um, I have here a, an eyeshadow that I've been dying to use, it's the Lancome Coral Crush eyeshadow. And so I just wanted to hop right into it. I think that this is the perfect palette for spring and summer. And I have some different tools I want to use with it. And um, most importantly though, my base is already done. I did that in another video when I was talking about Trish McAvoy's Instant Eye Lift, which I love. Um, this one I want to make just real fun and easy and show you guys. I want to show you guys how simple it is to use the Lancome palettes. For my eye base, I'm using my favorite Trish McAvoy Eye Base Essentials. Alright, 10 minutes to focus. Uh, I'm using the Eye Base Essentials in Bare. I'm painting this all the way up above the crease. And blending it out with a synthetic flat brush. your eyes are set, I'm choosing to use my most coral color here on my Lauren Luke eyeshadow brush, which is um, pretty much the same as a MAC 217. I like to always tap my brush off and hold my skin tight if I need to. And when first applying shadow to the lid, I always like to press it on. and then blend. All the way to the crease. Once your main color is on, I like to use my highlight color, which in this case is this really nice shimmer. Same brush. And I'm gonna press this right into the inner corner. and blend the top of the color up to the brow. Once you get to this point, I'm using a kind of stubby, stubby uh, blending, buffing application brush. And I'm going to use this in my medium tone, which is this one over here. I'm going to start by working this halfway across the lid from the outside. Once that's applied, I take the same brush without reapplying the same brush we've been working with, the Lauren Luke, and there's nothing else on it except for any remaining eyeshadow, and I'm just going back over the top of this just to give it a clean blend. After that, I'm using the NARS number 12 angled blending brush. Going into my second deepest tune. I'm giving almost like a 1960s Edie Sedgwick type of effect. Notice how I'm keeping the brush against the skin at all times and almost doing a windshield washing. Back and forth blend. You want to do a little at a time.
Once you're at this point, you can choose what you want to do. Do you want to make it more dramatic or do you want to finish it? I'm choosing to make it more dramatic, so I'm taking the same brush into the eyeliner shade, which is a really nice dark brown bronze tone. Tapping off my brush, going back into post so my crease is exposed. And just right from the outside. Pulling that color into the crease. I'm going to grab my last brush and work that color into a really nice blend. And then grabbing my first brush and blending it out even more. Now I'm going to take a liner that is a NARS Larger Than Life eyeliner. It's a dark brown, but it's real nice chestnut brown. It has a lot of red to it. Um, this one is called Via de Martelli. I'm going to hold my skin tight and just brush this. over the lashes. I'm going to take a Dior eyeliner brush, go into my shadow liner, holding my skin tight. And smudging out the liner. I'm going to pop a bit more instant eye lift under the eye, right here. And I'm going to use a flat synthetic brush to blend it out. To make this look pop even more, I'm taking a Stila Diamond Eyeshadow. They look like this. I depotted them. I'm using the most golden one. I, now that it's been depotted so long, I don't remember the name, but you have to rub with your finger on it. It's the only way it's going to work. And I'm pressing onto the top of the look I just created. This really makes it come to life. You're gonna look like a beautiful princess. To make the look pop, this is totally optional, but I'm taking a liquid felt tip liner and I'm not winging it out, I'm just pressing it against the lash line for the most depth. Use an old classic Mac lingering in my eyebrows. For my mascara, I'm using Mac Cosmetics in Dimension Extreme, in Extreme Dimension 3D. MAC Cosmetics in Extreme Dimension 3D Mascara. My lashes stay pretty curly, but definitely curlier if you want to. Spring blush. Let's do something springy and coral to match. I'm going to do a mix of two of my favorite La Prairie powder blushes. I have the the Trish um, gel cheek color on, but it's very subtle, so I just want to bring it out 
even more. I will be using Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Philippe Day number 13. And there you have it. A flirty, date-appropriate, springy, summery look. So, I used, to recap, let's see if I can do it off the top of my head without looking down. Mmm, Lancome Coral Crush with a Trish McAvoy eye base underneath with a NARS Via De Martelli eyeliner with MAC in Extreme Dimension 3D Mascara with MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil, and am I forgetting anything? Stila Diamond Eyeshadow. The pressed eyeshadow with the pressed pigment in it. Or any pressed pigment that's your favorite. So that is what I used. I only used uh, two, three, three, ah! A couple brushes. Um, I think this is such an easy look to recreate. I did um, a mix of just the favorite coral blush of mine and the Rouge Volupte number 13 YSL lipstick. So. Uh, can't wait for that warmer weather guys and now when it comes you have the perfect thing to do so thanks so much for watching and have a great afternoon. Bye